Hey everybody, welcome to the latest Masters of the Universe custom figure. This of course is the movie Evil Lynn. I uh, like that the back of the box has a before picture on it. And uh, this is my after, what I've done here. Of course Skeletor is trying to hog the situation, he always tries to do that. But we'll show what I did here real quick. This is a simple redo. I really didn't do that much. The figure out of the box, as you can see the colors and things, that's a pretty good photograph of it, the way it came. What I did was I took, took her apart, took the head off, took the cape and shoulder pad thing off. I couldn't really remove all the pieces off the chest and everything, so I kind of was very careful and what I did was I sprayed Mr. Super Clear matte finish on her arms and legs. That took the sheen and the plastic shine off of that. She does have a bodysuit on. And I sprayed those first. And sprayed the head and did some detailed face work on the head. Um, it is Meg Foster who has those really amazing light blue eyes which you know, as part of the whole kick about her being the part. And I did the rework on the makeup with some stills and some things, added a little bit of cheek shadowing. You know, she has a more dramatic makeup to, to, to look good with Skeletor there. And uh, so I did that separately. Then the big thing I did, those of you who know me and my addiction to Molotov Liquid Chrome, mirror effect pin here, Molotov. That I shadowed all the chest plate. This piece here, which I, I was careful not to do the chain. I just kind of highlighted it. I did some detailing in the arm braces there and on the shoulders. I did some chrome detailing there. And the toughest part was the chroming of the little crown pieces on her head. The the filigree on her on her head was was kind of interesting to do. But once you get all that, once you get the shine off the plastic and then get the, the chrome pieces, oh I left out one little step. I added the gauzy agent to coat my chrome so that I could touch it and re you know it, it it's now touchable, handleable, poseable. And it really captures her, but you know, it, the figure comes pretty intact. I think I chromed a little bit of the detail on her boots. And then really that's it. it. It's not a lot of work. They, you know, they made a nice movie accurate character figure. And to the credit, it was a little easier to do than the Skeletor was. I actually had to add a cloak and you can see my video on him. There, he took a lot of work and a lot of decisions. But Evil Lynn was actually quite simple. So if you want to upgrade her, the, the chroming and the spray, the dull down of the shiny bodysuit, and maybe a few of those little filigrees on her knees because she's got those little sort of snaky shapes. There's a lot of snake uh, forms in there, cobras and other things. So, you know, you do that and, and Evil Lynn's done. She was an easy redo. She, I'm quite satisfied with her. I think she looks quite nice with Skeletor. So if they'll do a Beast Man, and if I can get a better Gwildor, there's an older Gwildor. I did my He-Man. I've got a video on him. And Lord knows who else they might release in this group. I'd really like to get all the villains, though. The the, the Sorod guy and the uh, Beast Man and, you know, a few others. But well, these are my big ones. These are the big three. I, you know, having having He-Man, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn is, is big, big, big. So I'm very happy with the figure. I'm very happy with the release. Excited to have it. Those of you that have it and want to accurize, like I said, it's not hard. And uh, it looks so much better. The, the chroming looks so much better. When you got some chrome on Skeletor, you got chrome on her. That, it's funny how well they match now. They look more like the movie set. So she was a blast. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please like, comment if you feel the desire, and uh, of course watch the wonderful Masters of the Universe movie from 1987. It's a hoot. It's not one of the greatest movies ever made, but it's darn sure fun. 
Take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time.